Uh, it was uh, about 13 years ago in the summer of 2003 after completing my first year uh, of college. I was working part-time for my dad's um, construction company building uh, residential houses and that morning I was on the second floor of the house. I ended up uh, falling from the second floor to the basement. So I landed on my back, my head, my head hit the floor and I fractured the sixth vertebrae in my neck and damaged my spinal cord. And since that day, I've become a quadriplegic. I'm paralyzed from the chest down pretty much. Even my arms and hands are affected. So um, I have strong shoulders and biceps, but my triceps are weak. My wrists are weak and I have pretty much no function in my fingers. I went through some hard times, but at the same time, my spinal cord wasn't completely severed. So it was still attached a little bit, just really badly bruised. So I still had some hope that I could maybe get some function back and to walk again. So it took me about you know a year and a half to, to realize that there wasn't a possibility anymore. I would be co confined to a wheelchair for the rest of my life. But um, I, I, I had a lot of questions that I asked myself why this is happening to me. I, I figured I was a pretty good guy. I didn't deserve this. Uh, but I was lucky to have a good family and good friends that supported me along the way. And, um, you know, after learning, uh, after going to physio and seeing occupational therapists, I was able to bec become more and more uh, independent. And after being invited a few times from uh, guys from the Ottawa Stingers team, the, the local team, and uh, seeing the, the, the documentary Murder Ball, I, I, I realized that, that was, uh, wheelchair rugby was a really intense sport and that it was a Paralympic sport. So um, I, it gave me motivation to start training and I just developed a new passion for this sport. At the beginning, for the first four years, I wasn't uh, independent. I, was, I needed a lot of help for a lot of things. But uh, just playing wheelchair rugby, first I had to get stronger physically, uh, whether it's going to the gym and working out and stuff, just to get stronger. And then I learned a lot from meeting guys that went through the same challenges as me. They gave me tricks on how to get dressed in the morning, how to do transfers and stuff like that. So not only am I competing worldwide, worldwide for my country and enjoying playing sports, it gave me so much more. It gave my independence back and I got to travel to 13, 14 countries just because of the sport. Each time you do a workout, whether it's you know just going uh, for a walk outside, going to the gym, or playing a sport, uh, you have a great sense of accomplishment after you're done. And um, I think that's important for you to, to be in a better mood every day. Um, and then you just add nutrition to it, having good nutrition. It will just, uh, you'll be in, a, in better health and it will prevent having maybe future medical issues. And I think uh, living a health, healthy lifestyle is, uh, is a key element uh, for a person to be happy. <laughs> Health research is really important. Um, we all know that uh, going through some kind of medical issue, whether it's mental or physical, is stressful and can be very difficult. And it not only affects uh, yourself, it affects your family and your friends. So health research, is, it, it benefits everyone. Uh, it's important to, to, know, to, to have the right, the proper equipment, the, the resources in place, the up-to-date facilities, and you know, and knowing and applying all the latest medical uh, practices to to best to help best serve people that need it and to help save lives. For me personally, when I got injured and I knew I had a lot of challenges in front of me, um, I still had hope, and um, you know, my mind was at ease knowing that I was uh, really well taken care of. And my life was in good hands and I think that was uh, pivotal for my, for my rehab. I mean, we, we can't all be high level athletes, but we can do you know, as much as you can, I guess, during, you know, uh, whatever it's weekly or monthly. So even if it's just training twice, twice a week, I think any physical activity will improve your quality of life, will put you in a, get, in a better mood. And it might not always be easy, but you need to, to believe in yourself uh, when you're committing to change for the better uh, there might be some some challenges along the way but uh, if you keep working hard you be positive i think at the end of the day um, you'll uh, you know it will definitely pay off